Welcome to the All Sports Report for a Saturday evening. Well, the San Diego State Aztecs will not be heading to the big dance. That is, unless they win the Mountain West Conference Tournament for a fifth time. A winning run through the final seven games of conference play will be a big boost heading to Vegas at the beginning of March. As right now they head to Nevada, who sits a half game behind Boise State in the conference standing. So let's head to the biggest little city in the world, known as Reno, as the Aztecs get a primetime spot on ESPN2. And the folks at ESPN seeing something to freshman sensation Jalen McDaniels. They're saying he's the second coming of Kawhi. Don't know yet, but he lives up to the hype early on with seven points and six rebounds in the first half. The star of the first half is Jordan Caroline of the Wolfpack. He would score 11. How about back-to-back -back threes from Jeremy Hemsley? Make this a tie game at the break, but then the second half starts and the Wolfpack start playing like the ranked team that they are. Expect them to get in the Mountain West Conference Tournament and expect him to uh, not get a trip to the Mountain West Conference Tournament unless the Aztecs can go. Coach Fisher not happy with the program that he left behind as they get beat by 20 for the second time this season, the final 83 to 58. USD on the road up at Santa Clara. Things not so good for the Toreros as they would uh, lose 70 to 64. Cameron Neubauer leading the way for USD with 18 points. Next up, Pacific at home on Thursday. How about some preps? On the mat, girls CIF championship in Raslin at 130. It's Claremont and Marie Mascalenko winning via fall over Nadia Barrientos of Hilltop. 139 action. This is Helix's Destiny Ling as she takes down Kira Satnik in the 145 pound. It's LCC's Maddie Kanupka, a winner versus Valley Center Sierra Medford. At 162, Larissa Vasquez of Montgomery, a winner over San Diego High's Dulce Patino. And how about San Pasquale's Emily Velasquez, your a champion, taking down Otay Ranch's Island Asalas. Emily's Fighting Eagles are also your team champions, 33 points better than Otay Ranch. I feel so emotional, I'm so happy, you know, making history first time. Our girls from San Pasquale take first at CIF. This is like such an emotional like day for me. We work so hard, we practice just for this. All my girls, they didn't, none of them thought they would make it this far and look where we're at now, taking first at CIF and like, it's just an amazing feeling. All right, congratulations to Sam Pasquale on the boys' side. Ranch Bernardo hosting the dual meet championships in Ramona and Valley Center in the D4 finals. 220. His, his floor is winning his match 9 3, and that seals the championship for those Bulldogs. D1, it's Shane Finney helping San Marcos to the win over Vista. He gets the pin in the 170 pound bout. The marquee matchup, though, coming in D2. Poway and Rancho Bernardo at 140. This is Jaden DeBoss picking up the win for the Broncos, but. How is Andrew Johnson getting the pin in the heavyweight round as the Titans add yet another CIF trophy to their long list of collections? I definitely feel like they're a lot more intimidating than if I was wearing a different color than green, but yeah, it definitely does give me an edge. Coming from a non-wrestling background, it gives me a lot of pressure, but knowing that they're teaching me what I need to know in wrestling, it gives me a lot of confidence. Well, how about we hoop it up? First game of the day at the President's Day Showcase. Morse taking on Steel Canyon. This is Michaela Klein driving the lane and scoring two for team high 15 for the Lady Cougars. But junior at forward Camille Booker responds with a bucket of her own. She finishes the game high 28. Lady Tigers run away with this one. The final 66 to 48. Morse. Coastal League versus Western League as the Bishop School takes on the Sarah Q Dogs. Watches Sarah Sophomore. Kyria Lord driving the lane and floats in for two over eight for the Q Dogs. That is Bishop's captain Brianna De La Torre and Madison Chang combining for 28, leading the way for the Knights' victory. The final 67 to 38. Two of the top teams in the county facing off is Christian taking on Scripps Ranch. This is Patriots freshman Zoe Nordling with the beautiful floater off the backboard, keeping. Pushing close in the first. The Lady Falcons counter with Kayla Williams and Macy Kinney. The dynamic duel with a combined 32 points. Scripps Ranch goes on to win big. The final 68 to a 42. Top five matchup. La Jolla Country Day playing host to the San Marcos Lady Knights. This is Rachel Roberts hitting from beyond the arch. Finishes the team high 14 for the Knights. But Kendall Ellenbeck 
locked in the senior leading the Lady Tories in 16 points. She also has five assists to final 61 to 33 La Jolla Country Day. How about Chula Vista taking on the Helix? Uh, Scotty, this is Chula Vista's Alexandra Lozano with two, while Helix's Kalia King. Look at this. Nice little set shot there for two of hers, but Chula Vista's Bill of is making the three right there as Chula goes on to win the final 41-27. And the Mount Miguel Matadors facing off against the Crusaders of Modern Day, the Matadors' Kamara Douglas with the who? Modern Day's Chloe Webb. Then check it out, the uh, two-pointer here, driving the lane, nice little floater. Then it's Mount Miguel Selena Peterson making a, another one for... 24 of her points says Mount Miguel goes on to win the final 62 to a 56. The third annual Battle of the Fans has begun. Over the next nine days, we'll show you the best high school student sections in all of San Diego County. It'll be up to you, the crowd, to pick the best crowd. Our contest beginning at San Marcos High School with Brandon Stone. B Stone here, and if you don't know where we are, we're at the place where we got it locked down. I mean, North County there. Locked down. This city. Locked down. Entire state. Locked down. Because we are at. San Marco! And this is the. Blue Now check this out. You're looking at all nine schools in the competition. Here are the important dates to remember. From now through next weekend, we'll air all of our fan recaps on the ASR. Saturday the 17th, we'll post all nine videos to all of our social media platforms and open the voting polls on KUSI PPR Twitter, KUSI PPR Instagram, and on KUSI PPR Facebook page. Now you can vote once on each platform, additional votes, and any suspicious votes will be deleted at our own discretion. By the way, I'm doing Santa Fe Christian, so... Let's, let's make it two years in a row that <laughs> my school wins. Wednesday the 28th, we'll declare the big and small school winners on the ASR, and those schools will be honored the following weekend of the CIF section of Hoops Finals inside the Ginny Craig Pavilion. Well, it's a very special weekend over at Balboa Park as they host the Brad Rich Invitational Wheelchair Basketball Tournament. 20 squads competing on the weekend. The Wolfpack are the only national all-military wheelchair team. Being in the military, you know, it's a team sport. Uh, so being in the military is a team environment. So coming out and feeling that you're not part of that when you're injured, being on the team itself brings that back to, to reality that you're still part of an organization, you're still part of a group, you still have that camaraderie that you had with being military. So we bring that into the team as well. And like brother, the brotherhood type deal, the, the, uh, the family or the, the group environment, team environment. 